Welcome back to Deal Unboxing. TP-Link has one of the best Wi-Fi 7 routers or mesh systems in the market, and today we are going to review their latest affordable Wi-Fi 7 router called TP-Link Archer BE 6500 Dual Band Wi-Fi 7 Router. So in this review, we are going to do the Wi-Fi speed and coverage test to see if TP-Link at $149 is the best affordable Wi-Fi 7 router in the market. So let's first do an unboxing and see its contents. The Wi-Fi router comes with quick start guide, power adapter, and an Ethernet cable. Now let's look at the specs. It is a dual band Wi-Fi 7, six external antennas, MU MIMO, OFDMA, MLO, Easy Mesh, DFS, Multi-RUS, 4K QAM, Airtime Fairness, four streams, beamforming, and works with Alexa and Google Assistant. Now let's look at the ports. There is a one 2.5 gigabits per second LAN port, three 1 gigabits per second LAN ports, and a single 2.5 gigabits per second. WAN port, WPS button, power button, reset button, and power connection. We also have USB 3.0 port on the side. It supports total 6.5 gigabits per second bandwidth, and following is the breakdown. 5G supports 5,764 megabits per second, and 2.4G supports 688 megabits per second. Overall, the build quality is great, and I really like the case design. It is easy to integrate into any home environment, and plenty of ventilation helps the system to stay cool under heavy workloads. Now let's do some performance, coverage, and speed tests. So we place the Wi-Fi 7 mesh system in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. For this test, we used an Intel BE200 Wi-Fi 7 card, which is the fastest Wi-Fi client card available in the market and it is also backward compatible with Wi-Fi 6E devices. It will help us get the full potential of the TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 router performance. We are also using a 10 gig ethernet wired computer as an open speed test server, which is hosted locally to measure the performance of the Wi-Fi routers and mesh systems. So the total square footage of the house is 5,000 square feet. We tested connections in extreme corners in each floor of the house. Let's review the results. First location, which is within five feet from the main Wi-Fi. Seven router in the basement, we achieved full 1.1 gigabits per second for download and upload Wi-Fi speeds. Excellent start. Next, we moved all the way to the left corner in the basement. And here we still achieved an average of 420 megabits per second for both upload and download. Next on the main floor to the left side of the house, we achieved a 250 megabits per second speeds. Moving on to the right side, we achieved an average 388 megabits per second. Great results so far. Moving on to the first floor to the left side, we could not connect to 5G network, but using 2.4G, we were able to connect up to 20 megabits per second. Then we moved to the right side again, no 5G connection, but with 2.4G, we achieved 22 megabits per second. Again, these are the great scores for this category. So for the final test, we moved to garage, but unfortunately, we could not connect to 5G or even 2.4G here. In the next test, we are using 10 GBE NAS connected to 2.5 GBE network port of the Wi-Fi 7 router and using Wi-Fi 7 card-based laptop, we were able to achieve full 2.4 gig wireless transfer speeds using 5GB file. Great results. Now let's talk about setting up TP-Link Archer Wi-Fi 7 router. Setup was a very easy three-step process. All you have to do, go to TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 Router's web address, connect your router to your modem, or if you have Fios with Ethernet connection, you can connect the router's WAN port directly to your Ethernet cable and you don't need a modem. Then just follow the instructions in the browser to complete the setup. There are a lot of settings available to configure using the TP-Link's Wi-Fi 7 Router's web interface. Advanced Wi-Fi settings allows you to configure 2.4 gig and 5 gig networks with different SSIDs and password, and even set their security and channels configuration separately, which is a huge plus in my opinion. You also have an option to configure all network bands or choose different combinations to your liking. There are plenty of options in the TP-Link interface for general or advanced users. Let's do the final summary. TP-Link Archer B6500 dual band Wi-Fi 7 router performed good in this review. The Wi-Fi 7 router offers good speed, coverage, and features for its price point. While it lacks the 6 GHz band, but still offers great upgrade features with latest Wi-Fi 7 technology. 
The TP-Link web browser access makes managing Wi-Fi 7 router quite easy with lots of great options, including VPN, parental controls, SPI firewall, WPA3, and much more. The Wi-Fi 7 router is equipped with 2.5 G1 port, so you can take full advantage of the fastest internet speeds offered by any internet service provider. And the best part is its price point at only $149 at the time of this review. If you are in the market for a new Wi-Fi 7 router or mesh system, I highly recommend TP-Link's Archer B 6500 Wi-Fi 7 router. Let me know what you think of the review in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.